What's happening everyone? Welcome back to the shop. Now, I've decided to put together a small series of videos on electrical basics. I have been working as an electrician for over 20 years now and for the last 16 of those years I've been self-employed. So it is the one area I can claim to have some expertise in. And if this YouTube channel is to be good for anything, it should be of benefit to the people watching it. And so I want to impart some of the knowledge that I've picked up over those years. and. Uh, just show you some tips, tricks, stuff that you can do that's legal for you to do and that a person who's not a qualified electrician can also do. So we'll start with the basic stuff like how to wire a plug, how to change a socket, how to change a light switch, how to put up a light fitting, how to repair various things in your workshop and around your house. So over the next couple of months, I might do one or two videos a month. We'll see how it goes. But for now, let's start at the absolute beginning, a skill that every single person should have and that's how to wire a plug. Let's jump in and have a look. Right, let's jump in and do this then. So the tools we are going to need is a pliers, a flathead screwdriver, and a knife. Stanley knife, preferably if you have one, or a good sharp knife if you don't. They are the three tools we will be using. So um, something everybody should have in their house. And the plug we are going to be fitting is a standard 13 amp three pin plug it is specific to the uk and ireland so if you're outside the uk and ireland it's not going to pertain to your plug but the principles will be the exact same so maybe just keep watching it might be of interest to you guys we will also sh show you how to change the fuse in these things very very simple this is a life skill that everybody should have is how to change a plug or how to make up a lead an extension lead if you ever need to so that's what we're going to do today so the other type of your more than likely going to see is most of your appliances nowadays will come with a plug top just like this which is completely sealed so you can't open it up all you can do is change the fuse if it blows i've often seen these things burn out they have a few issues with them with how the fuse unit is wired inside these things can tend to heat up and um, separate from the fuse you get arcing can cause um, the plug top to melt so you may have to change one of these from time to time so that's what we'll do today we will stick this plug top on the end of this flex let's jump in and do it okay first thing we're going to do is show you how to strip a flex properly so we're going to take about three inches of the outer insulation off this flex about 70 mil so what you want to do is take your knife and we're going to score it all the way around we're not going to cut through the flex completely so we don't want to damage damage the inner cores so just score it all the way around and then what you can do is you can bend it and as you can see that will snap without scoring any of the inner cores and you should just be able to pull it off most of these toughened flexes have a powder inside in them so it makes the outer sheet easy to slip off so there you go nice and simple we haven't damaged the inner cores at all we haven't scored them so again just score the outside and snap and pull Right, let's look at our plug and to open up our plug. It's just this one center screw here. That's all we're worried about for now. So we just need to loosen that guy. Pop the back off and there we go. There's the internals of our plug. Now let's see if we can get the camera to focus on that. There we go. So often they will be marked inside. You will see the L symbol there for the live. The live always goes to the fuse and that's the brown wire. The neutral to this guy on the left and our top pin is the earth marked with the e and the earth symbol there so you have the l for live n for neutral and the e and the earth symbol or ground symbol for our top pin so live always to the fuse and you will see the rating of the fuse will be marked on the plug 13 amp so most plugs that you will buy will come with a 13 amp fuse in them appliances that you will buy will have different fuses so if you need to change this fuse it's only a case of pop it out but make sure you put back in the same size fuse as you took out of your appliance so it'll be a 3 amp a 5 amp 13 amp that kind of rating so make always make sure you put back in the same size fuse as you took out okay let's get wiring this then Okay, let's get our flex into our plug top, and this is pretty simple. So let's go through the color cores quickly. The brown is our live wire, that will go to the fuse here. The blue is our neutral, that will go to the neutral connector here. And the green and yellow is our earth wire, and that will go to the earth at the top there. So very, very simple. First thing you want to do 
is get our flex clamped in the clamp here and we want to make sure that we catch the outer core not the inner cores in the clamp okay the outer core so just loosen our clamp take our flathead screwdriver and just loosen these two screws here don't have to pull them out all the way that should free up enough space just to get your flex in slip that up there like that if it pops off don't worry about it we can realign it and get that screw back in can be a little bit fidgety and i'm trying to do it looking through the camera here now so it's even more fidgety so again we have the outer sheet the black part caught under the clamp now so we can just tighten that back down No, oh, that's our flex clamped in now, can't be pulled back out, nice and safe. So we haven't caught our inner cores, we've caught the outer core, okay? That's important. Next thing we wanna do is get everything lined up. Now we're kinda caught for space inside in these plugs, there's not much room to maneuver. So you wanna line everything up. So the first thing I like to do is get my earth in, that's my longest. So just work it around, measure it to where you need to go. Put your thumb to the back of the pin here. So you wanna cut it about there. So I'm just gonna mark that. Snip that off. Now we're gonna use the pliers to strip it. I'm assuming you're not an electrician if you're watching this video. You just, you just have a pliers at home. You don't have a word strippers. You don't have that much tools. So you just wanna strip back about 10 mil or even less. So you're just gonna catch that with the pliers just squeeze it and just work it off okay we don't want to pinch the inner core so it's just a squeeze and then again i'm assuming you don't have any furls or crimps that you can crimp a flexible connector with so just give it a twist like that okay okay that's what it should look like after you've twisted it up now again i'm assuming you don't have any furls it is regulation that all flexible cables be furled and crimped but you're not an electrician you're a homeowner you probably don't have that kind of equipment so a good twist connection will do again everything in electric electrical work it's all about the connection the connection is everything so a good solid connection is what you're looking for so like i say just twist it all up now if you're dealing with slightly smaller cores like a 0.75 this is a 1.5 flex so it's slightly big you can just double it back like that and then insert that in the pin but like i say these ones are about as big as you would put into a plug this size so i don't need to double them back just to make it easier you can pop the pin out towards you like that slot it in there push it down just like that and tighten it up and again like, like i say everything that you do with, ele with electrical work the connection is primary. A good solid connection where the cable can't pull out, where you have really good contact, that's everything. So you don't want to build up a resistance and you don't want any heat. So just do the same with the other two cables. Now again, they can be a little bit fiddly. Bend them around, measure them off, snip them, strip them and twist the cores. I'll do that with the two of these now. Okay, there we go, all three wires are in. Now the live wire, you will find the fiddliest, so you can just pop the fuse, pull that pin up. Let's get the camera to focus on that. So just so you have ease of access to it, then you can work it back around, tuck it back in, put it in place, take your fuse, and snap it back in place, just like that. Okay, very, very simple. So again, live to the fuse, neutral to the neutral, earth to the earth, and they should be all marked. So live to the right, to the fuse always, neutral to the left, and earth to the top if they're not marked. 
And now what we want to ensure is that all our cores are tucked down inside in the channel. The channel is pretty small that we have to work with. Again, this is probably the biggest type cable, a 1.5. It's probably, it would get a squeeze of 2.5 in here, but it is a bit of a squeeze. So we just wanna make sure that everything is tucked down in the channel so that nothing gets pinched when we put the cover back on. All right, and so that's what it should look like now when you're done. So if you ever need to gain access to your fuse or if your appliance ever stops working, that's how you pop the fuse, nice and simple. Open the back, up, back of the plug, pop it out. And if you have no way of testing your fuse, just pop a, a fuse out of appliance that you know is working, put it back in. If the appliance comes on, then you know it was the fuse. So we just wanna put the cap back on that now. Just like that, again, ensuring that we don't clamp any of our cores and then we can screw it down. Just like that, one more plug and it should go back together seamlessly. So you will feel if you're pinching any of the cores, it will struggle, you won't, you have to force it together. So it should just snap back together nicely. And there you go, that is one word, 13 amp outlet. Okay guys, just to finish up, then we'll take one quick look at the sealed plug. Now the sealed plug, obviously you cannot gain access to, the only thing you can gain access to is the fuse, and all you will need is a flathead screwdriver to go into the little opening that's in it, just to pop that up and pop that fuse holder out. And the fuse actually sits into the holder, so you'll need to just push it out to get access to it, all right? When the new fuse, take it out, pop it back in there, it's a little fiddly. Just like that, line everything up and make sure you push everything home so that's all flush and flat. Again, connection is essential, you don't want anything burning out, so you want to make sure that you have good contacts inside the fuse. When you pull it out, check the ends of the fuse, make sure there's no signs of arcing or burning. Check the contacts to make sure they don't look like they've been under pressure, like they have heated up. And uh, once everything looks good, put your fuse back in, pop it back in, you should be good to go. So that's a sealed plug. Right guys, there we go. That has been how to wire a 13 amp three pin plug outlet, how to change the fuse, and how to change the fuse in a sealed plug top. So hopefully that has been informative to you. Like I say, I will do more of these videos on how to change a socket, how to change a light switch, how to put up a light fitting, how to repair extension leads, that kind of thing. So all basic electrical knowledge that every homeowner, every guy in a garage, every guy in a workshop and shed should be able to do. So I want to impart some of my knowledge that's legal for you guys to use. So yeah, I am, I'm trying to keep these videos short and sweet, so I'm trying to keep them to a under the 10 minute mark if I can. So if you have any questions or comments, you want to know, know more, see more, make sure and leave comments and questions below and I will get back to you. So let me know what you guys want to see in these videos, what you guys need help with, and I will do my best to make a video on that subject. All right, that's it guys. For now, I'm gonna get out of this workshop. So I shall see you in the next one. Take it easy.